hello guys and welcome once again to savannah essence today we are making our hair growth oil this is i think apart from the hibiscus glycerides this is one of the other most requested oils and i don't know why but i like to make them i usually make them in this big container and so unless i'm gifting it out it takes a long time for it to finish and so that's why i haven't made it and i just don't want to make stuff just for youtube's sake i need to make it for myself and so now that my hair growth oil is finished i decided to make some these are the herbs that i use and these are the oils that i use let me just say that here at savannah essence we sell carrier oils and we sell some powders and so the oils that i will use i have the luxury to select as many oils as possible because i sell them we make some and we sell them and so it might be different from you. So do not directly um, think that this is all the oils that you need and that it might scare you and you will not make your own. Um, the herbs that I've also chosen are herbs that are readily available here in Ghana. So I know there are a lot of Indian herbs that people like to use for their hair growth, but I like to experiment with things that are readily available here at home so that if that doesn't work, I'll now try to stretch out so far the ingredients or the herbs that are really available here in ghana and even in africa have proven to be excellent when it comes to formulating hair growth oils and so i'm sticking to those ones uh, to use in this particular oil so i have herbs i have carrier oils and then i have some small essential oils to go with me so go with me through this journey as we make this oil okay all right so let's just run by what herbs we have. Uh, let me just run you by what herbs we have. And then we can, as I start to prep, we can talk about specifically why we are using them. So starting off, this is, um, now because of the green container, you don't actually see its color. And this actually is, I made it myself. I didn't air dry it like the ones that we sell that makes it exceptionally green. But this also has been very good for hair. So this is moringa powder. This is fenugreek um, seed powder that I have blended. So you can see that it's still a bit rough, which is how I like it. That way it stays on for long. This is neem powder. Um, neem powder has a lot of antimicrobial and other properties. And so this also goes into my hair growth oil. This is cinnamon oil and I like to use it in just small bits. It has a tendency of discoloring your oil. So use a little bit, a little bit goes a long way. This is hibiscus uh, powder. Hibiscus powder too is excellent for promoting scalp health, health and then helping to uh, strengthen your hair strands. So I like to use hibiscus powder as well. And then this is black seed powder. So black seed powder is also black seed that I have milled not too finely, leaving it rough. That way I can also get some maximum benefits out of it. Black seed oil uh, powder also has a lot of antimicrobial and anti um, properties. This is black seed oil. Now I also have some um uh rosemary in here so this is rosemary infused baobab oil this has been infused for close to six months and when you um open it and smell it you can just smell hmm, the rosemary all through the container so i infuse the rosemary into my baobab oil and that is what i like to use then i have castor oil so this is castor oil that we sell here at savannah essence this is also castor oil by the way this is ghana made castor oil and this is moroccan made castor oil i like to use the ghana made castor oil it's as you can see we um we cold press it and there's a residue still under it. So this has been sitting for close to six months. This is, we made this ourselves and this has been sitting for some time now. So this is castor oil, but this is the castor oil that we also like to use. We mix it too. Now this is share oil also, Savannah Essence share oil. Share oil is um, excellent for promoting. It's just like share butter. Those of you who usually wonder, you see when the weather is cold, share oil sorts of solidify. So you can see that it's starting to solidify from the button. And then we will also be using baobab oil. It's already infused in this, so I will not be using this. I just wanted to show you that. 
then we have neem oil so neem oil will be using a little bit of it also in this particular formulation and then we have some avocado oil this we don't sell it's from now we have hemp seed oil also and then that is how this looks and then finally we have uh a jojoba oil as well this is excellent for hair growth as well for our essential oils we have rosemary and then we have orange essential oils these are also some essential oils that i bought from the past that sort of didn't work the way i wanted so this is lavender this is peppermint this is eucalyptus and this is jojoba, golden jojoba essential oil. So these are the things that we will be using to formulate our hair growth oil. So let's get going. Okay, so to start off, we are going to pour in the herbs and then we'll bring in the oil. So we are starting with Moringa powder. Now Moringa powder contains a lot of vitamins such as vitamin A and B and these help to nourish your hair and promote hair growth. Uh, Moringa contains high amounts of vitamin A which supports health growth, you know, promoting healthy cell tissues in the body and then reducing hair loss. And so that's one of the reasons why we like to use Moringa powder. What I usually also like to use is to add it to my um pre-poo you know with mixed with my eggs and my honey and my avocado and then do use it as a pre-poo before i you know wash off and shampoo so that's one of the critical areas in which i love to use um moringa powder our next is black seed powder black seed powder has anti antibacterial antifungal anti-inflammatory antioxidants it is rich in fatty amino acids and it's excellent to help you know who, uh, maintain scalp health you know addresses issues such as dandruff while keeping the scalp moisturized and that's one of the reasons why i particularly like to use black seed powder then fenugreek we all have heard about the tons and the benefits of fenugreek powder now fenugreek uh, seeds is a rich source of iron and protein and these are very essential for hair growth. They contain a unique composition of some plant-based compounds such as flavonoids and saponins. And these are presumed to induce hair growth, you know, because they have anti-inflammatory and antifungal effects. And because of these effects, they help you to treat uh, scalp issues such as dandruff, thinning hair, or even hair loss. And so for people who want to promote hair growth, who want to promote... um thicker hair growth who wants volume as compared to length fenugreek is one of the go-to uh, seeds or powders that you would want to infuse into your regimen so i like to use this in my deep conditioners in my conditioner in my leave-in conditioner and also in my hair growth oil as you can see because it helps to thicken my hair helps with scalp issues so um uh, it gives me that protection to aid in the uh, growth of my hair so that's basically what fenugreek does let's move on to the other powders now let's talk about neem powder now neem is also one of those very versatile plants that are useful in a lot of you know skin and hair care products for me i like to use neem because of its help its scalp uh, is a uh, aid in blood circulation in the scalp helping to you know relieve you of age and just keeping your scalp clean thereby helping you to stimulate hair follicles to grow and to promote hair growth and then that's one basic reason why i like to incorporate neem powder into my um um my hair growth oil now let's also talk about cinnamon now cinnamon also helps to stimulate uh, circulation around the scalp so it encourages hair growth and reduce hair loss it also has you know antifungal properties this might also help to you know rid you of dandruff and other sorts of fungal uh, infections that might uh, retard hair growth in, in your hair so most of the herbs that we have chosen or i have chosen for this particular oil are supposed to, are targeted at my scalp so they are targeted at my scalp to help you know once my scalp is good and is strong and is healthy, then hair would naturally grow because hair always grows. The problem is how 
we retain even length and how we even lose the hair that's what leads to thinning hair leads to short hair and then leads to you, you having hair that looks like it's not growing so the herbs here are targeted at the scalp once i get the scalp going then the oils and the other water will provide hydration and moisture to the strands of the hair giving it a complete um protection so basically that has it now let's talk about um the final herb which is the hibiscus powder this is also this is also one of those herbs that is rich in flavonoids just like you know um we spoke about in the funeral and so it's also what it also does is protects your scalp from external damage um for those of you or those of us who have started graying <laughs> Uh, young kids who are green it helps you know delay premature green it helps with deep conditioning your hair regulates sebaceous glands and it prevents dandruffs and so uh, hibiscus powder is also very beneficial to your scalp okay so that's why we are using um hibiscus in this particular case now for the oils that we are using the baobab the coconuts and all the other oils oils basically what they do is to help you seal in moisture they help you to sort of um prevents moisture loss ensure that you know if you have moisture moisture in your hair it stays on for long so that your hair doesn't get dried easily it doesn't become brittle because once your hair is brittle it easily breaks especially those of us who have kinky coily hair so basically most of the oils here that's what they do and that's why i'm not going to talk specifically about what coconut oil does or what this does because in this particular in a hair growth formulation the role of the oils is, is, is they are carriers so for me in this particular in instance the important aspect of formulating my hair growth oil is the herbs that i use in formulating the oil it's because it is the herbs that comes with these properties like i already spoke about that will target my scalp and ensuring that the scalp is healthy thereby ensuring that i have um i have hair follicles growing and then what that happens, the oils now seal in the moisture that I will spray in maybe water or leave-in conditioner. And then the oil will sort of protect the hair strands and ensure that um, everything is fine. So um, basically, uh, that is what's happening. Castor oil helps in, you know, uh, uh, promoting hair growth. We all know the importance and the benefits of castor oil. Coconut oil is a, an excellent moisturizer and a sealant, so it seals in moisture. So coconut oil, um, oil, um, uh, baobab oil, all these are basically supposed to help you seal in moisture. They all have different sorts of fatty acid compositions. They all have palmitic acid, oleic acid, steric acid in different compositions that help you to sort of uh, um, prevent um, transepidermal water loss on the skin and also in the hair. And so that's actually very important. Now for oils like jojoba, jojoba sort of mimics the, uh, the, the oil that your scalp it produces already so it mimics um sebum from your scalp so once your hair feels like it is dry it doesn't have that then it's not able to moisturize your your hair strands from the scalp all the way to or from the roots all the way to the ends so applying that uh, the jojoba in this case helps to give your hair an impression that your scalp is healthy and it's producing sebum in this right uh, in the quantity it's supposed to be producing and this all helps you know to sort of keep your hair growing and keeps it moving that's basically one of the benefits of jojoba oil now neem oil like i already said like the powder has antimicrobial and antifungal properties and so neem oil in this particular case is not just a sealant but it's also a healer it helps you know to treat it has these anti uh, antibacteria and antifungal properties and then this all helps you know to uh, treat your scalp then in all all the oils have a bit of antioxidant properties in them and so they help to rid your 
your hair and your even your scalp from free radicals from the sun and so um they all come together to give your hair that full protection and so basically that is one of the um reasons why these particular oils were selected to give these different different um uh different different properties to this particular hair growth oil so that is it with the oils now let's talk about the essential oils so a key in these um um in this oil uh we are using rosemary essential oil tea tree essential oil and orange essential oil now rosemary essential oil it's known there's evidence that suggests that it helps in promoting hair growth and so once you're making a hair growth oil, you need an essential oil that has evidence backing it that says that it helps to promote hair growth. And that is also one of the reasons why we are using the rosemary plant itself infused in baobab oil. So that's basically then tea tree oil also has a lot of, you know, uh, antimicrobial, uh, and antifungal properties that sort of helps you to prevent any sort of infections that will be going on in your scalp so mixed with your carrier oils they give you the full package that your skin needs the orange essential oils basically in this case helps me with um the scents that still because there are a lot of herbs that have gone into this oil you need something that will ensure that everything smells nice and that even when you apply onto your hair you don't walk around smelling like uh, something that came from a bush somewhere so that's basically why we're using that now these other oils that i spoke about they i bought them thinking that they were essential oils but later when i started using them i realized that they were too uh, they were the quality was not that good or they were overly diluted with carrier oils but it doesn't say that and so I don't use them as essential oils. I use them as oils. I pour in a little bit of it to give that kick. Now for peppermint, peppermint gives my scalp that sort of uh, relaxed feeling that stimulates the scalp and also helps, you know, with hair growth. And so I like to use that. Oh, I've already spoken about that. Lavender in this case sort of supports the orange essential oils to sort of give this very good fragrance to the whole mixture and then eucalyptus just like peppermint helps to stimulate the scalp so basically that is why i selected those ones as well so this is usually my hair growth oil uh, i leave this in this container until it's finished i don't strain it at any point you know once it's done i cover it it settles and then i pour in bits by bit and i use it in my hair so basically that is it i will leave this for another maybe six to uh, eight months before it finishes i use it to formulate my deep conditioners my normal conditioners my leave-in conditioners and then i also use it as my scalp massage oil and also as my deep treatment oil so it is a multi-purpose oil i hope this it's easy enough for anybody who is interested to do i also hope this has been a little bit educational for people who have been requesting for it uh this is my goofy self and this is how usually i apply it i've just done the small um twist uh i don't know what kind of twist it is and then usually i i i i, I leave this on for like a week or so whilst wearing my wigs and stuff so this is basically how i apply it uh, onto my scalp um i make sure i go through each and every um line make sure that it gets directly into the scalp and also i try not to forget my edges now those of you who know me in person know that for the past three months i've had issues with my edges I had thinning edges and my edges were gone. But because of this oil, I've gotten my edges all back. My edges are back to normal. And I couldn't be more proud of myself for creating something that has that. <laughs> so I just massage it in uh, gently in a circular motion. And then I do the same for the scalp. And then, you know, when I'm done, I just cover it up. And I go to bed. 
so i hope this has been helpful kindly subscribe to this channel if you enjoy this this is out of my normal soap making videos but it's been one of the most requested videos that i had to make and i hope this is helpful if it is give us a thumbs up say so in the comment section and we'll see you in the next video thank you very much and do have a lovely day